Hello friends. In the last video tutorial, we learned how to pre-process the data set. We will continue our work from there. Let me first move these widgets on the top so that I have some empty workspace area. After pre-processing the data set, the next step would be to select the columns which are required for the machine learning algorithm. So I will go into transform tab. I will click on select columns. I will connect it with the preprocessor. So now the preprocessed data is connected with the select columns. If I double click on this, I can see that there is a section named ignored. There is a section named feature, a section named target and meta. So by default, there are 16 features selected and one target is selected because in the beginning only I selected class as a target. If you have forgot to select the class in the beginning as a target, it might appear in the featured section like this. Since we know class is a target, why? Because ultimately this is the column that we want to diagnose. Since we know class is a target in this data set, because this is the column that we want to predict using the features given in the data set. So I will move the class to first ignored or in the or directly in the target. Now I have shifted the class again into the target and there are 16 features. If we don't want any column either in the feature or as a target, we can simply keep it in ignored section. For example, I am demonstrating if I click on itching and shift it to ignored section, it won't be used in the analysis of machine learning algorithm. I will move it back to feature for this tutorial and I will close this box. After correctly classifying the pre-processed data set, the next step would be to choose a machine learning algorithm that we want to use to create our model. Now there are multiple algorithms which we can use. In this tutorial, I will use the same machine learning algorithm which were present in the reference article so that you can easily compare your result with the published article. So first I will use random forest. I will drag and drop it into active workspace area. As you can see, random forest takes input as data and preprocessor and it brings the output as learner or model. So what do we mean by this? We will just just wait for a few minutes and you will understand what do we mean by this. First, let me connect the selected data with the random forest wizard. So here the data is connected with the random forest. Every machine learning algorithm has certain properties specific to that algorithm. For example, if I double click on the random forest, there are properties like number of trees, number of attributes considered at each split, replicable training, etc. If you are a beginner, you shouldn't change these values. With time, you will learn how do we manipulate these values and achieve the better result. So right now I am keeping the default values. Similarly, I will also use KNN. I will connect our data set with the KNN. So out of six, two machine learning algorithm have been loaded into our active workspace. Remaining four, Remaining four we will add in a few minutes, but before that, let's see how do we use these two algorithms that we have already loaded. For that, we will need test and score visit. It is under evaluate tab. So I will bring test and score into active workspace area. 
as you can see test and score takes the input as data and it also takes the input from learner preprocessor and ultimately it would output prediction so to make it work first we need to connect our data set with the test and score after that we need to connect the machine learning algorithm that we want to perform with the test and score so for example if i connect the random forest with the test and score you will notice that it performed some task in the background and now if i double click on this i can see that random forest model has been now if i double click on this i can see that random forest model has been generated with an auc that is area under curve of 0.998 accuracy of 0.979 and the other properties such as f1 score precision recall mcc and specificity all are shown here similarly if i connect the knn visit with the test and score i can see that it performed some task again in the background and created a new model now if i double click on this i can see that along with the random forest the knn model has also along with the random forest model the knn model has also been generated and its matrices are also shown here we can also compare the models like shown in the bottom half of this widget we can select area under curve classification accuracy precision recall specificity many properties are there through which we can compare these similar to random forest knn has also some properties if i double click on this i can see number of neighbors metric weight since we are in the beginner stage we shouldn't change these values and use the default properties only later on with time you will learn how to change later on with time you will learn which values to change to get the best output so now we have created random forest model and knn model let's quickly create the other four models what were those one of those was new bias another one was neural network one was ada boost and lastly svm was also there so i have imported all the six machine learning algorithms visit into the active workspace area now i just need to connect with the, our data set and the test and score visit so i will quickly connect these it's not that it is not like that that you have to arrange in a specific order i am just rearranging them so that i can give you a better visualization now i have connected all that machine learning algorithm models with the data set now i need to connect it with the test and score since i am using gpu my calculations would be done very fast in your case if you don't use gpu or don't have high ram uh, it might take some time now i will connect the remaining four machine learning algorithm with the test and score so now if i double click on test and score i can see that all six models have been generated and the matrices are shown in front of them now if we compare with these matrices we can see which one has the best output model similarly i can compare the models using these matrices as and when required so this is how we create our models i will wrap up this video here in the next tutorial we will learn about creating the confusion matrix and using some predictions 
before closing this file let us save this file first so that we don't lose our data that's all for this video thank you